mudguards or fenders are for many cyclists out there a really staple part of winter cycling. The thought of riding along and getting your precious bike covered in grime is a nightmare for plenty of us warriors of the road. Not to mention the thought of replacing parts sooner than they necessarily need to be thanks to salt water and corrosion. Let's look at the choices out there for you then. Now, when it comes to mudguard choice, you need to consider a couple of things. Firstly, how much coverage and protection you require from the guards, from the simple ass saver to the total coverage full mudguards. Secondly, the clearance and fitting options that you have available on your bike. So not all bikes will work with all mudguards. Many dedicated winter and gravel bikes have mounts for mudguards so that they can be fitted as an almost permanent fixture if you so wish. And those mudguards have metal stays and are pretty rigid in their structure. Whereas some bikes have such close clearances that you can't even fit a 25 millimeter tire in them without rubbing on the frame and forks. So mudguards designed for really close clearance road race bikes without specific mounts. Generally, you have to have a bit of a compromise when it comes to fitting around the brake calipers as this is a particularly troublesome area as you were trying to fit a mudguard between the tire, the brake bridge and the caliper. So while something may say full mudguard, be aware that your brake calipers may get a bit of grime on them as the mudguards tend to attach on either side of the caliper. Disc brake users, likely to be pretty plain sailing unless your tires are very close to your stays or the fork crown. So to recap, before deciding on the mud guards, you need to consider the clearances on your bike and then how much coverage you want. Love riding in the rain? Get as much coverage as possible as your bike is going to get less mucky as well as your kit and you. Now when it comes to fitting, depending on the guards you've gone for, that will depend on the level of difficulty. Nothing is particularly troublesome though, uh, as long as you read the instructions or look at things from a logical point of view. What I would really recommend though is to use a work stand as that way you can check that the tyres are clearing the mud guards as well as any brackets of the mud guards sufficiently. Those have been areas in the past which some people definitely have struggled with. Now without a doubt, give the bike a very good clean before installing the mud guards as you won't have your usual access to be able to do so once the mud guards are in place. But the good thing is, once those mud guards are on, depending on the type you've gone for, you won't have to fully clean the bike anywhere near as often as before, which is a big result for a lot of people out there. The final bit of advice though that I've got to give here, having fitted plenty of sets of mud guards over the years, is to make sure that you've got all the tools and all of the bits and pieces you need before you start. There is nothing worse than having to stop partway through to pop out for something. It simply ruins your concentration as well as your zen, perhaps. Now, there are so many different types of mud guards out there, I'm afraid there isn't a one-for-all process for fitting. For example, these crud racer mud guards here, they don't require any tools, but they do require about four millimeters of clearance and around 20 minutes to 30 minutes of your time depending on the intricacies of your bike, obviously, and how patient you are as well when fitting. Whereas these clip-on ones here from Topic, they'll fit on, well, within seconds, but they're not gonna give you quite as much coverage there either. So it's something worth considering. Now, providing that you're patient and you follow the instructions, you will be ready to tackle the wet roads and laugh in the face of other people you ride with. Particularly if you're from a place where people don't tend to use mud guards, watch how they all tend to swarm towards your back wheel when you're riding to avoid getting a face full of muck that they would do from other riders. Of course, there is a downside to that. It means you're gonna be on the front an awful lot more. But you'll certainly get fitter, won't you, let's face it. So there we are. Are you a mudguard lover or hater? I know definitely there are people out there who really don't like them, whereas I absolutely love them and I totally recommend them if you can get them to fit on your bike, which, well, with options like this, you definitely can. Either way, let me know what you think of them down there in the comment section below. And don't forget too to like and share this video with your friends. And also, don't forget to check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. We've got a whole heap of goodies for you to check out. And now, for another great video, how about clicking just down here?